see Bodevar here. So that was something that you touched on before about how Bodevar might have gotten power crept a little bit. But how do you feel about Lopez sticking to it? You know, it, it, to me, it's kind of like uh, like the old old school player pick. I think a lot of like players that have been around for a really long time love picking Bodevar, uh, one of the uh, first legends in the game. And um, I, I I definitely think like it's the most fundy, one of the most fundies legends in the game. Very simple, straightforward signatures. Very simple, straightforward weapons. So, um, ooh, we're seeing that now. But you're seeing um, Tequila say, "I don't care about your fundies. I'm just gonna edge guard you with Rayman." That is what fighting games are all about, PJ. I am so glad that you brought it up. The days of the fundies are for old people only. Okay, they're for maybe day one of the game. We're in 2024. Uh, so, not anymore, my friends. At the moment, though, Lopez is going to be patrolling the stage, uh, occupying it with a couple of end lights and D lights. West is able to land successfully, looking for recovery. He gets the new trailer as well. West has an excellent lead. Yeah, absolutely, and um, this is what uh, we're kind of looking for uh, from Tenkilo is just continually um, putting on the pressure on the Rayman off stage. Just being able to outspeed Sword and also outrange hmm. Hammer is going to be very important. Why D Light neutral? I feel like Ukabu would have been able to KO. I'm not too sure, but nonetheless, Lopez is able to find a Nair there. Uh, D Light Nair is probably the most consistent conversion besides Side Air because. Sometimes side air, like if, you're too, if you hit too much of a deep hitbox of the downlight, it's hard to convert it. But yeah, it, yeah. into nair is tough there. For sure, we're trying to go in Oh yeah, it was a good thing that Lopez was still able to close that out, able to survive that end light, being nice and patient, getting back onto the stage. Love that descending side air before you touch the side of the stage, just in case West decided to go back in. That recovery down a little bit too low to KO, but that side air is going to be more than enough to close it out. Looking for uh, this lock in is uh, Tequila, who's has a pretty dominant lead versus Lopez so far. Looking for that Nair there, gets the Nair. No added extension though, just uh, kind of playing the ones and twos versus Lopez's hammer. Because uh, I feel like hammer is going to be much more successful and uh, out damaging. So actually, you just have to play very careful. Don't take trades, just play into your range. D light sider, Lopez gonna be knocking West off stage once again. Oh my gosh, not gonna connect though. Love that new trailer, so much space it covers. Just backing West away. Avoiding that side air, dodges through it and gets a recovery of your own, but Tanquilo put in a really bad spot by oh, Lopez. Here. Boom, there it is. The name says West, side. so I got confused. Yeah, yeah, it's that's on me. Tanquilo, yeah. That's a it is a confusing name for sure. Okay, so, you know, Lopez is on a bit of a comeback here. Hamley can absolutely do it. We already know Hamley's damage output. That's going to be one neutral as Vemfenkilo went for a bit of a bold desig off the side of the stage there. Looking for the jump call out, able to get the side in nonetheless. Gauntlet's in hand now, looking for this scoop into this recovery. Lopez getting clipped by the side there, there. And the recovery, the recovery barely avoiding uh, Lopez there. Lopez picking up the hammer now. So I feel like this is the big weapon for Lopez, is the hammer for sure. And it seems to have weighed him down just enough. I cannot believe that Lopez was able to make it back on, but it does not matter because Vem Tanquilo was still able to close it off with that end light. But I have to say, Lopez was this close to making that comeback. That recovery, by the way, excellent recognition. I can't believe that he was still able to touch without a chase dodge. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I feel like Lopez really kind of showed that you can't really count him out in this matchup. I feel like it's easy to say, uh, you know, it was... It looked basically over in the beginning because Vem just came out to like such a big lead with the gauntlets, but Lopez can definitely keep up with this bode bar. Um, I want to see uh, some more of the sword from Lopez, though. I feel like the hammer was the thing that he really leaned on here. I think sword is going to be very important to attempt to edge guard axe and, and gauntlets off stage so that you can have that uh, same amount of threat off stage that um, Tenkilo does versus you. This might be a bit of a weird statement, but I can kind of feel like, aside from the mode value thing, I can feel that Lopez has been playing this game a lot longer than a lot of this uh, newer generation of players, right? In a way, there's like very subtle things about his movement that feel so like precise and so intuitive. No, absolutely. You can definitely see uh, the level of um, knowledge and how long he's been playing the game just by the way that you're moving with Bodvar. And you have to really lean on your fundamentals as Bodvar because Especially versus the Rayman. You don't have a lot in terms of the signature kit. Mm -hmm. Sider will find its connection and the Sider with the unarmed or the gauntlets as well. Looking for the tap in with that side light gravity cancel unarmed but didn't find it. Haymaker from Lopez to try to create some more space. But now you're the one getting weapon start for it. That was an interesting choice to use the dodge first before the jump through. Lopez, either way, was able to make it back on through just a second. But the very last.
last hit of that D-Sig, able to successfully clip him every single time that you think Great Man's D-Sig is not gonna be active. It is active for just a little bit longer. You have to be so patient against that move. Or you have to go up and around the side and into the blind spot. Yeah, exactly. We're seeing the Axe now online looking pretty solidly here versus the Hammer. The side stick comes out and it gets punished. That's a, another sick coming out from Lopez that just completely misses and gets you punished for it. It's not that big of a punish compared to the last game, but still got to be wary of that. The downlight side air will close out the stock though, so you're not too worried about it. As we get into this two stock apiece here on Fortress of Lines. Yeah, and like there, looks for the down stick, didn't find it there. The rising chase dodge as well following up. My dog's getting excited for the match too, but it's uh, pretty close now. I feel like Lopez really evened it up. Okay, Vem 10 Kilo, looking for the GCD light. Unsuccessfully, Lopez doing what Soil does best. This juggling? Excellent. Fantastic, even. You saw his eyes laser locked. I could see the line being drawn in real time. Went up there, went back down. Neutrally went back down. That was just such a solid juggle. You're absolutely right about that. The juggle is so important for Lopez, and I feel like the thing that you really need to lead into as a Bodvar here, two weapons with incredible um, juggle potential. Sword can definitely set up for the more Ooh. extended uh, hammer conversions here, but a nice little side air there. Going for the ground pound unarmed. What? Very aggressive versus hammer. I can't believe he went for that, but it doesn't get him punished, so he's all right. Yeah, that was so scary. Wes, really good recognition that the only thing that could cover that in time was gonna be the weapon toss. He reacted a little bit too late. Gauntlet and Sig, enough to be able to take it off the top here. And now Wes, poised and in a good position to be able to make a comeback, especially if you consider how much he has been getting off of each advantage state. Ooh, didn't fast fall first before the down air. Wasn't able to catch him grounded. A little scoop up there, gets the down air on the... Uh... Grounded from Lopez, grounded play from Lopez. Down might into side air, does find its connection. Almost enough to KO, but not quite. Lopez, one or two more conversions away from taking this game away. The end light comes out from Tanquilo, though, who looks to continue here. Boom. Gets Wanted to go through the exhausting recovery. He didn't get it, though. Looking for the side light, looking for the side air. Wes is committing so much, gets the neutral air, and that was so good for Tanquilo because he was able to successfully land. But how do you make it back on? Oh, the dodge through there. Lopez unable to find the downlight. Finds it there. Downlight into recovery will close out that game. Very, very close. That got a little scary towards the end, but nothing too crazy for Lopez. And that's a pretty cool emote. I don't think I've seen that in a while. But nonetheless, we got a 1-1 for Lopez and Tanquilo. You know, in a way, Lopez's gameplay can be described as quite minimalistic, right? Mm -hmm. like, kind of like fundamental, back to basics in a lot of ways, and, and pretty minimalistic. He is just really doing a good job of focusing on all of the things that matter, which is juggling, which is, you know, how can I pressure you in a way that you fall into my soiled delights, which is how do I stop you from getting back onto the stage? Lopez, honestly, he's so good. He is excellent. Yeah, it's cool Two, to see. Um, you know, we've seen Lopez play a plethora of legends, but I feel like Bodvar really gets to highlight uh, kind of the, um, I mean, how solid of a player Lopez is there. The down signal coming out from Tanquilo as he continues this edge guard here. Who cares about fundies when I got the Rayman edge guard? The end light sends back to the other side of the stage. Lopez finally able to pick so a weapon. So smart. Yeah, but not only Dodging after. Dodging like that? Down. Yeah, that is very. The it, only it way. Yeah, because the only way that Vemton Killer would have been- Oh, you know what, never mind, that ground pound was crazy. But I was gonna say, <laughs> that dodge in and crossing up like that, the only way that Vemton Killer could have put him back off stage is if he dashed back to specifically punish him with an end light. And that's not something you always want to do when you're, like, controlling stage. Yeah, exactly. Think for this, uh... There goes for the end light, gets caught out by, uh, Tanquilo, who's been locking down this Demon Island pick. I feel like... Um, really taking advantage of the more space so that you can kind of rev up. But as I said, that Lopez doesn't really matter what I say because Lopez will get that side air and tap in that KO. That's right. He was able to close that one out. And now let's take a look what's happening this stock. Lopez looking for a way to be able to land. Oh my gosh. The momentum that Hammer Sider gives you. It is, it is huge. It just goes half the stage. Yeah, as if the move wasn't big enough, it also moves you forward so that you can space it easier. Gets that side air, or sorry, gets that down air is Tanquilo, though, who's able to uh, force this last stock on Lopez on this game number three here. Looking to go up 2 1 in the set, going for the down stick charge. Very classic option to cover the weapon pickup. Okay, Lopez just backing off for a second. Wes able to pick up the, the axe, excuse me, the uh, down initially whiffed. Lopez, now can we see some of that juggling? GC and Light to be able to catch the drift, not confident enough in connecting a neutral. 
feel like still Neutrally would have been the best play because the end light completely reset the situation. Mm -hmm. Whereas Neutrally could have perpetuated a juggle. Yeah, exactly. It's so it's so important sometimes to kind of believe in yourself and allow yourself to, you know, maybe you forego some damage for the, the opportunity to win so many more advantages. Like we were talking about a juggle. Nice recovery there from Lopez, who looks for the Cider as well. Can't find it. Doesn't punish the whiff Cider from Tanquilo, though. Got a lot of air jousting here. Nice side air. Goes for the weapon toss, forcing the dodge out of Lopez. Goes for the gravity cancel. Down light into ground pound. Side air on our picks up the axe. Gets the end light. Not enough to KO outright, but oh my goodness, Tanquilo's playing fast right now. Hard to keep up. Hard to keep up, but let's see if we can't count out Lopez quite yet. Hammer on hand, avoiding the downer. What do you want? You want a D light? Dashing oh. off with a D light? That's not going to be it. That's going to be the end light that comes on out. And Vem Tanquilo going to be going up 2 to 1 in this set. Yeah, no matter how much they uh, might have nerfed the uh, hop in the end light, it's still going to have so much force as your way to confirm those very close situations. I mean, it seemed close, but I think Tanquilo had one extra stock there, but nonetheless, you can never count Lopez out. Definitely happy to have the uh, set advantage and force set point here. Like we've been saying, this is the elimination side, so uh, the loser of this falls at ninth place, and the winner moves on into top eight. Yeah, uh, overall, I mean, that second stock, it lasted so long for the Vem Tanquilo. I mean, we can see it in that damage chart. Uh, Lopez was struggling a little bit to close. Lopez was struggling a little bit to get out of disadvantage. Um, and so now there's a lot on the line. Vem Tanquilo looking to punch his way into the top eight through the elimination side, whereas Lopez is going to need two Three, more. Two, one, brawl! Getting into this next game here, sticking to the same legends, but we get uh, Terminus, which is a interesting pick for sure. Uh, we hardly ever get to see um, three soft platforms Tri on any given stage. Yeah, tough. It, it's a tough layout in Brawlhalla. I think a lot of weapons don't benefit from the platforms, uh, but Lopez, like we keep talking about, a veteran player is going to show, you know, the knowledge. This is for the thinking the man. Platforms. Try yeah. plats in Brawlhalla for the thinking man, okay? And I still fully believe that people have not exploited to their full potential. Uh, at the moment, though, oh my god, did you see that 10 kilos movement? Even my oh ankles my are feeling like a little nauseous for you. Yeah, the ankles are nauseous indeed. I mean, I don't, I don't exactly know how you're supposed to pin down Tanquila right now because it's just constant pressure using the top platform before a downlight. KOs there. What an insane start from Tanquila. Oh, I love dash landing. I love triplats. That was so good. That was amazing. As an axe player, moving around like that, landing and then getting a D-light, I felt oh, that from him, Tanquilo. I know how good he felt hitting that. That was swag. That was so sick, PJ. Yeah, don't take Tanquilo to uh, Triplats is what I'm learning from this, because right now this is absolutely ridiculous. I side air there, able to KO, but yeah, still really, really crazy. Wow. Oh, that made me so happy. I cannot wait to see what we play in that stock. At the moment, though, no bias. We are the commentators after all, and we have a match in front of us, and the stock count is even. Lopez is trying his best to make a comeback, gets the D-Light into the downer, D-Light sider, and has almost totally evened this up. For that GC downlight, not enough uh, horizontal to fully pick up on that one, but looking for this last couple hits gets the recovery there and forces Lopez on tournament life. One stock separates Lopez from a ninth place and Tanquilo from a top eight placement here. Oh, and Vem Tanquilo is playing like he wants it. So the question is, is Lopez going to be able to want it as much? Love that ground pound to be able to cover the dodge, holding it through just a second. Axe ground pound hits all the way around, baby. Side air, not enough to KO quite yet, but gets the scoop on the wall with the down air. I believe Tanquilo has another axe online. Lopez looking for the weapon star here. Gets punished though by that GC downlight into the double recovery. That's it's a pretty decent damage even on unarmed, but a downlight recovery will surely close out that stock as we get to a last stock here on Terminus. Okay, Wes. Oh, excuse me, we have Tanquilo picking up the axe. Lopez oh. dealing so much damage, but it does not matter. Oh. You eat a side in, you off stage. <gasps> Downsync connects. Downsync has a way to call out uh, the dash back to center stage. Very smart from Tanquilo, but Lopez not letting up on the pressure quite yet. With the sword, gets hit with an end light, not nearly enough to KO, but the gauntlet's in hand now, looking for the edge guard. Can't find any singular hit off stage. The downlight whiffs, the side light whiffs as well, as both players are scrambling. But nice. Tanquilo comes out on top with the gravity cancel. Side light waits for the dodge through, gets the recovery, and moves on to top eight. Gotta say, maybe my favorite set of today thus far that I've had a chance to see. I think they both played phenomenal. Uh, and Vem Tanquilo's movement, I mean, it was absolutely absurd. Uh, he seemed so comfortable. He seemed so confident. This entire advantage state, uh, PJ, it was crazy. Uh, yeah, it was absolutely...